we start with one hour chart. And uh, if you refer to our analysis in my last video, since the price was within this move, I mentioned the ways reversing is very corrective and we can expect the price to drop. And this is what we get. Right now, we want to see what's the next. And as we can see, based on one hour chart, we are within this correcting move. And the best thing is the price could drop before we look for the reversal, right? Even we can put this one in relative to this one for the reversal. But if the price continues as a corrective, Mostly it can lead for, I mean, we can expect the price to drop. Anyway, we start with daily chart. You want to see what's the next. And if we refer to the daily chart, as we can see, based on daily chart, we are within this correction. And we can expect the price consolidate here for a longer time before we see the reversal. But as a long term, we're looking for buy, we're looking for the reversal. And the targets we're looking for is 105 for number 125. But we need to see the breakout of this correction. And we don't see any trace at all based on daily chart. But if we move to forward chart, for sure, the best thing is if we see the price break this one, because we can put this one as a correction relative to this. For the best, if we get one more drop, at least with the breakout of any of this low, the previous low, following by divergence, then we see the, then from there we can look for reversal because we are looking for buy. And the best thing is if this one give us one more drop, we confirm we are out of this correction. Then any reversal from there, we can look for buy as a long term because if the price continue from here as a corrective, I don't think so we can get a really good opportunity for buy similar. It can be similar to any of this. I mean, we can expect this one to be similar to what we have here for one move up, All right? Anyway, based on forward chart, we don't see any trade setup. Right now, we want to see whether this one gives us one more drop to conform with the, in relative to this for the last wave or not, All right? And at this point, we don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell. And if you move to one hour chart, now the question is, we get this drop, whether we can put this one as a flat, correction for reversal or this is the one is going to drop all right anyway if anyone wants to look for sell the only way we can look for sell if they really see the continuation following by flag we can look for sell and with the breakout of the previous low we have to move our sub loss to break even all right and even if anyone wants to look for buy they have to look for the reversal as a sharp move flag we take the trade but because at this point we don't have any trade setup either for buy or sell Bu buying or selling we do the trade setup we i won't suggest that and even Based on this one, indicator, we see we have a divergence, but MACD, we don't have anything. Even based on MACD, if we put consider this one in relative to this, we can look for the divergence. But for me, if I want to look for the reversal as a long term, I prefer to see the one more drop before we look for the reversal. Because I believe if the price continue from here, any trade for buy is a short term. No, we don't have any trade setup. I mentioned how we can look for trade. We have to wait. All right. And either we we'll see the continued correction as a flag, we take the sell, or we see the reversal, we look as a sharp move flag, we can look for buy. But at this point, we have to wait. All right, simply we cannot take the trade. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.